Hello, I'm Franya Shelley Greeland for Pet Center. I work professionally with people and pets as an animal behaviorist, trainer, and educator. I see what happens behind the scenes in multiple pet care businesses, the good work and the not so good work. Places like grooming salons, doggy daycares, and animal shelters. Knowing how pet care has been provided lets us know that it's important to talk about raising the standard of both the services being offered and the kind of training and education that's available for those people providing those services. Did you know that in New York City alone there are an estimated 1.1 million cats and dogs? Pet care services are in high demand in city life. Busy families, crazy schedules, all sorts of time pressures translate to the need for someone to help us out professionally. Groomers, trainers, sitters, dog walkers, and more. Demand for pet care services is so high that from 2000 to 2010, it grew more than 30% locally and nationally. For New York City alone, that's $1.5 billion, or about $1,350 per pet. But how does a busy pet owner really know just how well qualified the people working with their pets actually are? How can they choose the right pet service provider with confidence? And who's teaching all these providers? Do you even have to go to school to be a dog trainer or a groomer? Except for veterinary medical workers, there are basically no educational requirements for the majority of pet care workers. They can learn how to do what they do on the job by trial and error, instinct, hunches, and guesswork with no guarantee that they're the right ones. But what if providers had formal, science-based, welfare-focused training? What if there was a school-based pet services center, a place where learners can learn from master's level experts the right things and the right way to do them? There will be such a place, pet-centered. Pet-centered will be the first school to offer a formal academic model applied throughout the spectrum of pet services, blending theory and concepts along with applied training in one place. The program will be taught over six months to give students sufficient time to acquire knowledge and develop technical skills. Do you really want someone to be working with clippers after only a few months or thinking a shock collar is a good idea for training? The pet-centered model, melding classroom learning with apprenticeship under expert tutelage under one roof is a revolutionary educational approach. To establish and grow pet-centered, we need funding for professional and licensing fees, renting space, materials, and staffing it. And because it's all about education for people and doing the right thing for pets and not about profit, we need you. By helping to grow pet-centered, you can partner in addressing the need for scientific welfare-based education for pet care workers and better care for our pets. Help us to hold pet care education and pet care to a higher standard. Be part of it.